The NFL Today on CBS Sports is presented by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees. That's transparency. And welcome back to the NFL today. Right now, the Dolphins and the Jets are getting set for their matchup. And as we approach kickoff, we send you out live to East Rutherford with our announcers, Tom McCarthy, Steve Berline, and Steve Tasker. It's been another thought-provoking week in the National Football League, but we got rivalry football coming up at MetLife Stadium, the Dolphins and the Jets. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, along with Steve Tasker and Steve Berline. Happy to be with you on a summertime afternoon here in North Jersey. All right, so a little normalcy now for the Miami Dolphins, Steve Berline. Yes, the Miami Dolphins team. They lost their starting quarterback, were displaced by Hurricane Irma. They had their first game postponed, but they still are not making any excuses. High expectations. They're a good football team. Meanwhile, for the New York Jets, uh, obviously, uh, Christopher Johnson came out this week. He said, we are not tanking this year. Yeah, their owner's a fan. He wants them to win every game. The coaches believe they have the talent to win, and the players believe they can, but they all acknowledge they've got to play better than they did in the first two weeks in order to make it happen. All right, let's talk about some of these players. Jay Cutler, he fell right in the laps of the Dolphins. Huge pickup for them. What a luxury for Adam Gase. When Ryan Tannehill went down early in training camp, Jay Cutler available, knows the offense, still in football shape, only out of football for a few months. He can still make all the throws, but he also knows it's not all on him. A great supporting cast led by running back Jay Ajayi, who the last 11 weeks of the season during the Dolphins' 9-2 and two run only led the NFL in rushing <laughs> over those 11 weeks with over 1,200 yards. He's a great football player, a lot of good young talent on this football team. Obviously, he likes the chunk play and big plays are something the Jets have to deal with here today. Their run defense has really struggled. They've given up too many run plays. You'll see here a missed tackle at the point of attack turns an okay play into a long touchdown run. These are the kind of things that the Jets feel are very correctable, and they look to do that today against the Dolphins. But if you're looking for guys to rally around, look at the effort. The Jets are playing hard. Jamal Adams' first-round draft pick is going to track down Jam uh, Marshawn Lynch, the hardest guy in the league to tackle, and he gets it done. Those are the kind of guys the Jets can rally around and win. All right, now do Project Smarter, presented by Home Depot. Let's start with the Dolphins, Steve Erlein. Uh, one of the very smart things the Dolphins did was on September 3rd, when Cody Parker became, Parkey became available from the Cleveland Browns, they signed him. Four from four in the first game against the Chargers, including the game-winning 54-yard field goal. Yeah, and smart teams assign smart players. J Jermaine Curse. He is one of those guys, and Josh McCown will be smart and get him the football today, you can bet. But the key for the Dolphins today, if you really think about it, is controlling the line of scrimmage. They've got a potentially dominant defensive line. Played well last week against the Chargers. We'll see what shows up today. Uh, and the Jets are going to add one more weapon. Austin Safarian Jenkins, this guy can really play. It's just one more weapon for Josh McCown. So the Jets and the Dolphins are coming up. So is the national anthem from MetLife Stadium when we return.